So this Fortum air pump or tire pump has been a pretty much a mandatory must have in my car because of what it can do. If you are having flat tires all the time or a, lot, a low tire pressure, then you will definitely need this. So it's a bit of a big item. It's not the smallest and it's a little bit heavy, but it does come in this little packaging right here. And with it, you get, of course, a little booklet, air compressor guide, and you get some of the bits. So if you have other, uh, let's say, things you know, a pump, maybe basketball or maybe a bike tire that can do it too. The way it works is pretty simple, right? You have the on and off switch. And there are two variants of this product. I have the one that's just the direct 12 volt plug that goes into your car. Whereas the other variant has the, the common wall plug, like one of those. But in this variant, I just have the basic 12 volt plug. So this goes in your car, turn the car on and that you'll put this on your tire to inflate the tire. So as you can see, this tire is already getting to the point of almost being flat. It is uh, deflated, probably maybe at 10 PSI and we'll inflate this tire by plugging it into here. And of course the air compressor does have a couple of tricks. Of course it shows you the pressure. You can set it to turn off automatically at a certain number. So maybe 35 PSI or 32. You can also check the booklet for more instructions on how to use this. So we have my car's 12 volt plug. So we want to put, we will want to put this in. We're gonna take a plug and put it in the 12 volt socket. And that turn on the car. And here you'll see the lights for the air compressor turn on and you can also turn on the switch right now so i want to remove this valve cap and plug this in and now we'll turn it on this will be very loud so just keep that in mind when you're using this So as you can see, now it's at 35 PSI. Uh, that took about maybe over 10 minutes of actual in real time because this is pretty much almost flat, zero PSI. So you can switch right here to set how you want it to shut off. I did mine at 35. And as you can see, it shuts off because it's already reached the max uh, PSI that I set. And the one thing I didn't mention earlier is the flashlight or the little light that it comes with which is pretty cool. So if you're in the dark, this would be awesome. I'm kind of in a dark setting right now. So ideally, you would have to turn on your car's engine and crank it if you're gonna be using this for that long. This is about 10 plus minutes of using it constantly because this was flat. Uh, but I have a trickle charge connected to the car, so I didn't crank the car on, I just turned on an accessory. But ideally, you should crank the car on with the engine on to use it. But overall, this has pretty much been a must-have in any car that I drive because of you never know when you need to inflate your tires or something happens. So now that's off, I can take out the stem right here and go like this. And it's out. And you can use it to read the, the PSI too. So you see it dropped a little bit. And that's because this tire has a, a bend or something in the behind. So it has been leak it has been leaking air pressure intermittently. So there is a defect with this wheel and tire. But that's why I have this here so I can pump it anytime. It's that straightforward to use. It is a bit bulky, so that's something I keep in mind. It's not light. And then as you can see in the setup, I have it plugged in right there to that socket and voila. Now I can't live without one of these in my cars.